Dali Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desalufu. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome indeed. Are we loving the fit? Are we loving the beat? Are we living for the hair? I know I am. Let us start from the beginning. When I tell you that Naomi did one or two things for Pretty Little Thing, Pretty Little Thing came out here in these streets and said, yes, hunty. Let me step up and just give it to you. Yup, yup, yup. It is a slinky, dinkly, mustard yellow dress with sleeves. When I tell you I'm living, I'm loving. I am living and loving. This, my darling, is by Christina. Christina, say hello. Hello, Fumination. <laughs> I borrowed it from her, from Zara. I am now a Zara ambassador, so I'm going to find this and I'm going to link it down for you guys and you guys start selling and then you can buy anything else that you like. Yes, yes, yes. The hair, the virgin hair fantasy is reliving all of my fantasies. All of a sudden, I am coming out here. You know, I wish I could sing. I wish I could just give you the Diana because I feel like I'm Dianest. Yes, I'm Dianest up in here. But... Alas, I can only give you the hair. Discount code what? Fumi. Forever and a day, my nude. Lipstick by whom? None other than Juvia's Place. Lady is just the one. It is absolutely leading. So that's what we are doing. VMAs was on a weekday. Let's start there. And I was like, was this not supposed to be on a Sunday? Things are changing up in there. While we're on it, it looks as if Blue Ivy has started something because Puff Daddy came out on stage with his entire family. And I'm talking about including the twins. And they did not miss a step. Left, right, right, left. I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll live for it. Ashanti was there. Hey, Ashanti. Ashanti has gone back with her old love from 2003 to the point that she put it on a bag and she said, look at me and my boo in 2003. I said, I'm not mad at you, baby. It's hard to find a good man out here in these streets. Take the one that you know. Like they say, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. So, welcome to what? Fumi's Red Carpet Fashion Police VMAs 2023. <clears throat> Let's get started. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've done a red carpet, so I'm kind of sort of excited. I really am. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Now, before I start, I want you guys to know I'm not going to do everybody. I know you want me to do everybody. It's not possible, okay? So let's, you know, keep that in check. But without a beat, we have Sweetie. And Sweetie is wearing Area 4 Fashion 2023. Do you know what I thought when I saw this? Flintstones. The Flintstones and this is the glam auntie. Because remember when Halle Berry did the Flintstones and she was really cute. I lived for it. The bones was a bit too much for me. It was just telling me something I didn't want to hear. I love the rhinestones on the dress. As you very well can see, I'm wearing the same. That beautiful baby pink was gorgeous. There has to come a time, my beautiful gorgeous sweetie, when you just let go of these claws. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. You want to write your whole life, design your whole pattern on your nails. It's outdated. Can you imagine if she just had a beautiful French manicure, how she would have lifted this outfit? It is what it is. I love the dress. I didn't care for the bones. The bones gave me Flintstones. The makeup was cute. She's adorable. She's got a fabulous body. What can I tell you? End of. Then we had Dodger Cat. Dodger Cat was in Monsey 2023 and it was giving me Halloween. Call it what it is. There was too much revealing. The chest was revealed. It looked as if somebody threw her in. Th it looked as if she has a hater. Somebody took the dress, threw it in a blender and this is what was left. Or straight up Halloween. She could have done better. I'm just not living and loving. So we're going to skip right to Megan the Stallion looking gorgeous. I was at Versace the other day. Versace is in Selfridges. They're doing some kind of collection. They gave me flowers I love. They gave me chocolate I love even more. And they gave me the bag. I'll be your ever fan. And so there was a dress. Gaga. Gaga wore a dress and it just showed the bottom. It was giving me that vibe. Let's find out what she's wearing. Oh, Brandon Maxwell. Brandon Black Woody NYC. 
at the VMAs and it was boned, structured. It had the sheerness, it had the panty, the makeup is flawless. I love the lip. I love, 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 love the choker. Didn't care for the nails. I didn't care for the nails. They're a little bit shorter than sweeties, but they're still too long. Just classy it up, you know? The dress is flawless. I live for it. I want the dress. Fabulous job. Then we jump on to who this? Olivia Rodrigo wearing who? Lord Ludwig, De you know what? Let me just click on to the name because sometimes you just can't get the name right, but it's all in one. Aha, uh -huh. Ludwig de Saint Semin, and these are crystallized crystals embedded all over the dress. Custom, custom, and it was Semin Swarovski crystals. What did I tell you? I know my crystals, <laughs> I live for it. Woo! It was backless, right down to the nip of the neck. I have a bra for that. I know it's coming. I know, I know. You can't imagine the production. <sighs> Pray for me, sis. But they're coming. This is a beautiful, simple, classy dress. And correct me if I'm wrong, Marilyn Monroe wore something like this when she wanted to say happy birthday to the president, Robert F. Kennedy. This is flawless. And I think perhaps this was the blueprint for this dress absolutely gorgeous i live for it i can say nothing about the dress i love her simple makeup i love her hair beautiful black contrasting she didn't need anything because the dress said everything you know what i mean Alrighty. now we have anita in chiparelli All right, I tell you, I love Chiparelli. They are very different. The dress is fabulous. I love the Grecian-esque of it. It's giving me that uh, royal, actually uh, Cleopatra feel. I wish the bustier was black so that it was all uniform. That way you don't look and think, is she dressed or she's not dressed? You see, when you are following fashion, you follow the designer, you embrace what he does, but you now conform the dress, the style to you. That is how you interpret it. Because these very designers that designed this went out in the streets for the inspiration. So they want you to wear their dress, but they want you to take a spin on it. And because of that, it kind of sort of fell short. The earrings have got to go because it looks like she's got a lobster, a lobster earring it wasn't giving me fabulosity I love the headband if this was black and she wore chandelier black earrings even crystals this would have been on point um Demi Levito Demi Levito is looking healthy health is wealth I love the makeup I love the hair. I love the exaggerated jacket. Don't get me wrong. I just wish she had taken it off so that she can show us body. Because that's what it's about. That's why you're also here on the show. For me, if you dress up to the neck every day, you're kind of sort of boring. We want to see body. We want to see sexy. You want to be held and tranced into another beautiful, fabulous place. And because we haven't seen Lavido in a minute, it's important for her to tell us, plus the producers, the directors, the music execs, that you know what? I still got it. I am still here and I can convert everything I'm wearing into cash. It's about cash. So Danny did not give me what I was looking for. Demi. Because I know some of you smarty pants, clever clogs. Her name is not Dami. Her name is Demi. I knew this. I just misspelled it. Can't I make a mistake? Moving on. Ah, sweetie. Huh? There he goes again. I mispronounced it. But you know who I'm talking about. The picture is there, isn't it? Already. Mm-hmm. Yes, in pretty V. Who is this? Olivia, wait, 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 wait. Venny E. Venny E has 6.4 million followers. She's somebody. I like the dress. 
the dress is from Queen Lee and it's looking yummy very different and the sleeves and the gloves are all in one which i love and then she put the jewelry on top this is different this is fabulous this i like yes ma'am uh, uh cardi hello cardi what's up baby how you doing are these um hair clips these are hair clips do i see some hair brushes as well okay so this is a creative i don't like it i don't like it it didn't give me life I would have preferred if she gave me more and um, I don't like it I don't care for it she wore custom let me just see what the name is Dil Dilara she wore custom Dilara and it's not giving me life when I go to custom Dilara's page there are other pieces I know I know do you remember the red carpet for um, uh, what you might call it Barbie yes the Barbie thingamajig all right, there was a, an actress there who wore all of these spoons. That's the designer. Cardi should have worn that dress. Cardi should have worn that dress. You should have saved the best for the last. You made the mistake and uh, it didn't come out right. Okay, there we go. Joan of Arc Barbie. That was what they were calling it. And it was Harnef and she wore the Joan of Arc knives dress. Cardi should have worn this dress. Let me know in the comment section whether you agree or you disagree. So you just put Cardi, I agree. Cardi, I disagree. She looked good. She did look good. But Cardi is one of the biggest stars on the planet. And so she gets first draw. Hair, makeup, gorgeous. Nails, actually nice. They're not that long. Beautiful woman. Love her. But I didn't care for the dress. I just didn't. All right. Here we come. Carol G and she's wearing Ashy Studio. It's nice. It's sheer. What I love about her is her pink hair. Beautiful body. I love the panty. I love the thong. I love the fact that she had this big coat and she took it off. Exactly what I was talking about Demi Levito. Take the coat off and give us the dessert. We need to see the dessert. We need to see the fabulosity. It is part of your brand. It is part of the business. You are selling us a fantasy. And we want to have that fantasy as we listen to your music so that we are physically, emotionally, and mentally taken to another place. And she did that. I love, 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 love. Okay. What do we have here? Boom, boom, boom. Coco Jones. It's okay. What was she wearing? Moschino. It's okay, and I don't know what it is that I don't like about it, but it's okay. Beautiful body, beautiful girl, very even toned, live for the earrings, live for the accessories, live for the skirt. I see, I see, I see. It's the bandeau. I wish it was just a simple leather bandeau. It would have classied up the look. And the jewelry that she's wearing is for a beautiful ball gown. It's not for something like this. This is avant-garde. And she was giving us um, Tiffany, breakfast at Tiffany's, with the necklace and earrings, and it clashed. And I was trying to figure it out. What they did, whoever the stylist was, he matched it up with the bandeau buckle, and it didn't, it didn't work for me. But pretty girl, lovely body, love the outfit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Shakira came with her sons. She wore a beautiful dress and it is Versace. Play it safe, play it timely, play it classy, gold, and she won that night. Congratulations to you, my darling. Selena Gomez, she's wearing custom Oscar de la Renta. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That deep, rich Russian red. And the makeup is simple, the earrings are gorgeous. I live for it. Yeah, Selena did that. Who this? Do Echi in D squared. I will tell you this off the bat. Whatever she's using to moisturize this body, sell it. I'll buy. Christina, look. Oh, looks like butter on her skin. Butter. Hydration. Hydration. Is this moisture hold? <laughs> healthy hair studio <laughs> oh god that's all i can say because the entire look is a hot mess 
I don't mind. There are some things that you really just again, like I said, you see what the what you see what it looks on the model. Then you go on and you think it's going to be magic on you. No, if you fall short in any way, shape, or form. You can imagine it's going to be magnified on the red carpet and that's exactly what it did the good news for her and that's do Echi, is that her skin was so hydrated and so glossed and so chocolatey that she survived this disaster because i looked at her skin first before the dress and that is all i can tell you it is what it is ah chloe bailey chloe bailey and roberto cavalli the best sister on earth how you doing my darling you're looking gorgeous i love it it's giving me the vibes of britney spears when she was still dating justin timberlake and they were matchy matchy that wasn't a good idea but this upon reflection is fabulous because i can see some fall fabric aka velvet that's what ups the ante because we're in fall now and chloe i live for you i love you she supported her sister she said keep my sister's name out of your mouth what more do you want in a sister when a sister can come out there put her neck out there you look good i like it in cavalli Nicki minaj wore a dolce and gabbana dress and it was giving me bridal now here is the thing i loved it because it was pink i loved it because Nicki minaj is a lot of things but not bridal and I say that in a good way. This was the naughty bride and you cannot wait for the bridal night. Lived for it. I love the lace. I love the way she had it all cached in on the thigh as opposed to the knee. But above all else and which I want and love was the veil. This was a different look for Nikki and Nikki always wants to reinvent herself. But she kept it true to who she is and she gave us the pink, the pink print. And so it's a pass for me. I lived and I loved. We have the beautiful and the gorgeous Taylor Swift in Versace. Again, it's giving me the Versace of all Versaces for this uh, beautiful woman. What did she call herself now? She was uh, dating Hugh Grant. She didn't marry him, but she was dating him. And she wore this kind of safety pin dress. I think because the buttons come from one side to the next. It's simple. But it's still elegant and it's nice. And it's Taylor Swift, so she's doing her thing. We have Rita Ora and she's in Rodart. Love it, love it, love it. Did not care for the platforms. What I did love that Rodart did, they made it very goth. They made it very Halloween. She scraped all of that off and made it glamour. And so I see a waist and I see the the rivals in the dress and i see how de deconstructed it is in a good way i just did not like the disco platforms because it just took me to 1960 and i wasn't feeling that but it was gorgeous we have gorilla gorilla looking fabulous in david comma i love tattoos I love tattoos. It's just not my brand. But I love tattoos. I love this dress. And I love it on her. She's getting better. She's becoming more and more successful. And that is, that's that's what it is, you know. All right. Oh, there we go. Harley Bailey. And she wore a beautiful leather, leather hoa official dress. A Grecian dress. Oof. Beautiful 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 and how about this when Harley is prepared to tell us anything if she has anything at all to tell us she'll tell us in her time but she's looking beautiful absolutely gorgeous in this and did you see wink wink let me just double check this she wasn't on the red carpet she made sure she was safe comfortable and secured inside the hotel room she gave you the pics though she gave you the pics I love the platforms I think I have these platforms they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Ashanti, Ashanti baby, Ashanti sugar. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Let me just make sure that I got had her name right. Da, 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 Ashanti came out in a dress by Monica Vienna. You know, Adrian has just finished nursery and now he's in you know school and um he was in the turtle room 
so I would get turtle earrings and I would just really really pay attention to all kinds of turtles because AJ was in the turtle room so I am biased when I say that the dress is cute with the turtle breast patches but it didn't do her any justice the hair is absolutely flawless the makeup I love that green and I like the nails the dress did not do anything for her rib for for her for her midsection she's not a big girl it just didn't do anything for her but she carried the bag and she said you know Nelly and I came to the VMAs in 2003 and here we are in 2023 and we're dating again so kudos to you I'm happy if you are happy I give you all of the love all of the light and that was all that I liked. I liked the hair, I liked the makeup, I liked the bag. I did not care for this dress. This dress, they should have flipped it around so that it was backless and perhaps it would have given me something, but it didn't give me anything like this. Young Mammy wore a dress or a jumpsuit. Why would you wear something like this? And she thought it was okay. No. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I wish her team had given us Wonder Woman and given us gold panels. Do I like the outfit? It's daring. It's nice. And young mommy has legs for days. Legs, 12 out of 10. Yummy. Flawless. Beautiful. It was the section here. And I also have a C-section. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the presentation of it. It wasn't pleasant. It was giving me Halloween and that she had been cut by some kind of freak out there. And that was how she was coming to the party. Bloodied, messy, and you know what? I'm about to die. That was what she gave me. <laughs> Give me glam. I'm about Chris, to die. I'm about to die. Look. Just look. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a hot mess. Please. So I was like, um, what exactly is this supposed to be? Did she, did she, you know what? Does young mommy have children? I don't know. So maybe this was cosmetic gone wrong. I survived. <laughs> it's true. Cosmetic gone wrong. It was ill advised. And if you're trying to show, yeah, let me show you I'm proud of my scars or whatever. We all got scars. We all got battle scars. Show them with prominence, with pride, with queenship. Not as if to say, oh, let me know who your surgeon is so I never, ever go to him. That's what this gave me. No, no, no not fabulous, not fabulous. Moving forward. Oh, Mary J. Blanche. No. Where are the boots? No boots. Blonde, could this be virgin hair fantasy? I would not doubt it. I would not doubt it. Mary J is eating her salads and minding her business. Look at Mary J. Girlfriend looks hot steaming. Got hot steaming in her 50s. Flawless. Dare I say, humbly, this is the best I've ever seen Mary J. This is... Do you know that I did a Mary J uh, music video? Yep, yep. All the way in 1994-5 when I first came to New York. Yep, we did a music video with her and she was a bride and I was one of the girls throwing the flowers as she was coming up and down the aisle. And she was fabulous then and she's still fabulous. Oh, I think I met her in the Hamptons once. And she was singing and she was singing at a private party and she was shy. And I was like, Mary, give it to them. Give it. They don't know nothing. Give it to them. Yeah, I'll dance in front of you. <laughs> and I did too. <laughs> you look good, mama. You look good. You look solid. Who are you sleeping with at night? Because this weight loss is not intentional. This is just things are happening. <laughs> my life is better. Okay, this is good. This is good. Alrighty, my darling. So I think that is it. Let me just see if I see anybody else that I can talk about. And uh, we are out of here. Okay, Dixie Amelio. You know, she's like the TikTok Avalon. She's the, you know, Grand Joyce and she has a sister and da 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 da. Well, she's an influencer, so give her love. I will give her the love that she needs because she looks fabulous in this dress. And it is by what? Mati Seveski. Mati Seveski, I think. She looks cute. She looks cute. And that's it, my darlings. 
all of my love don't forget to like to subscribe hit the notification button down below let us try to get to a million come on now i'm giving you everything mini skirts and everything and i'm hungry <laughs> but i'm here i said they need the show they need to review you you waited for the review so a million would be good for christmas you know hey not asking too much and i will see you guys when i'll see you guys sooner than later all of my love i know i didn't cover everybody let me know who was your favorite and i'll see you sooner than later let me get up out of here let me go and see ula go and get some more money Ooski. hi honey mm -hmm.